Welcoming first in the blue corner, fighting off Exfit Salvinger. Welcoming to the cage at only 17 years old, Jesper Neverland. Well, ladies and gentlemen, cage door second fighter in the tie shorts. Touch gloves, and this bantamweight competition starts. And once again, we've got stocky and short versus rangy and long. But at least this time, it's a, it's a different corner. So a big takedown there from Saki as he's already looked, looked to try and put the knee on belly and punishing that kick. That well, he's wearing the Muay Thai shorts, so my assumption was he was going to come out with leg kicks. Yeah, obviously, obviously comfortable throwing the strikes. And for the young rangier fighter. I mean, Nevlin's biggest thing is he can land a jab on Stacy from across the cage. Yep, and that head kick can come from last week. This is a, oh, oh. huge shot, knocked down fighter. Some grit, some ground up pound there, but he's locked in the arm. He's locked in the triangle. Oh my goodness, Kenny. Kenny clutch victory from the jaws of defeat. I mean, he was dropped with that straight punch, and then as soon as he hit the mat, he jumped on that triangle choke. That looks choke. really tight to me. I'm sorry, I'm shouting. I'm I can't believe this kid. And those long limbs absolutely help here. And he's changing, trying to swap it over again. I mean, great defense. I, Sammy was able to survive there when it looked like he was going to be, and he doesn't want anything to do with him on the ground. Just, just wanted to point that as soon as he got a chance to get some separation and distance up on his feet again. And that's got to give. Young, that's got to give young Norland a little bit of confidence. I, I, I mean, the, the big thing now with Nevlin is his hands are a bit wide, so he's got to get his hands in. Oh, that inside leg kick. Nevlin just doesn't care. It's a young man's tough as nails. Takes that other shot to try to walk his man down. And the one thing is, Sammy's got to be thinking, what do I have to hit this kid with in order to stop him? And also, you know, it, it, it has the pace slowed down a little bit from Sammy. 
Yeah, and I think a oh. lot of that has to do with him now reassessing how he's going to go about it. I mean, it's not like Nevlin's checking any of those kicks, so that's not a worry. But it might be as well, okay, I don't want to do this and go to the ground with him. Oh! No, there's no... You shouldn't think that's a finish here. We got side control. I'd love to see some knees to the body here. Problem is the knees would come from last week if they were going to land. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, arm triangle. for the arm triangle. I mean, whether it be top, bottom, he looked comfortable. He was always looking. Roll on round two. Cage door closes. Here we go. We're at Jesper Norland, the fighter out of the blue corner in the maroon shorts, facing Sammy Saki in the tie shorts, landing those low kicks. Yeah, one thing I would like to see Nevlin do is start to... <laughs> He just took one on the mouth and I gave went, him a dirty look. Yeah, it was like, okay, you landed that one. I'd like to see him, though, start checking some of those kicks. And You I'm, can see the redness already on the outside of both of his legs from kicks. You know, and you'd think that this is kind of, this is okay for him. The guy's clinched up. Yeah, he's going to look to take me. But, you know, on the ground, he's got those legs give him an extraordinary advantage if he can get to guard, but he's been passed a mount, yep. and he's tucked right in the side of the corner. Yeah, it's, and his head's got nowhere to move, and now we're looking for another arm triangle, maybe? I can't see from... No, it looks like it's just a clamp down. He's looking to move into a position for possibly some ground and pound, but now he's stuck in that full guard again, and that full guard with those long legs is extremely dangerous. I mean, he's looking to secure the body triangle. Gives up on that for the moment, now has has a butterfly in. And in reality, oh. see, he can, he can leg press him completely off because his legs are so long, it'll throw him halfway across the cage. I knew I'd pop. Yeah, that popped one. me there. We got side. Uh, looked like he was going to be working from side con control. Sammy Sagan again. There's no prizes for guessing what I want from that position. That he moves now into. That's not the safest place for him to be, is it? No, even when you're landing. And again, he's continuing to put. He's leaving his arms and his heads behind, and he's allowing. Nevlin to be able to kind of work those legs over to the point where, oh, maybe I can shoot something through here and get as he's doing right yeah, now. And again, gone up high, but pushed off there. Ch change of position though now. Now, is this a sign that maybe Sachi has used a ton of energy and wants to relax, reassess, and see where he's going from? Because as we call this in the room, you can see Nevlin was going for the Khabib. Setting up a choke here. Hey, he's got the arm in guillotine, and he's trying to step over into mount, but Nevlin's being smart, keeping his hips just in the right spot to try and slide through. Yep. You notice he's pushing on that knee, yep. and that was just enough space he would get to where Sachi kind of gave up on it because he was like, okay. 10 seconds left in this round. And, and he's got it mounted against the cage, but he's not really throwing any punches that are landing with significant damage. Yeah, I mean, he controlled, he controlled position. He did land some shots. I mean, Nevlin gets up and he kind of just shakes his head and he goes, oh, okay. <laughs> back, back, back. Okay, the guys want to shake hands. Which yeah, is fine. trying to get the crowd into it and fair play. These two young men have, have entertained for six minutes and we could get another three. Okay, Nevlin's coming out, and he was doing exactly what I thought he should have done, and Sachi's doing exactly what I thought he should have done, close the distance, go back to working, bit of top game, ground and pound, and look for a finish. You know, I, I'm not a fighter, but it looked to me like that front kick was just a little bit lazy as well, which is why he was able to secure the takedown off it. I mean, one of it was he did that switch kick at first, and then he went to go do a front push kick, and it seemed like maybe it was a bit out of his reach, like the guy was two blocks away instead of one. Saki now in side control. Holding his man down. But again, you know, is, is Norman going to be able to, 
lock something up. Oh, I thought he was looking for a sneaky arm there, but Saki was rise to it. I, the, the biggest right there is where you have that issue, is you're going to get possibly caught either the arm, leaving your arm behind, or leaving your head inside, because he continues to bring his head back inside with, ooh, nice straight punches going down. Yeah, looking to try and shoulder, use that shoulder lock to turn him, but Osaki now comfortably on top, and backs it up. He's, he's showing ne Nevlin where this fight's gonna take place, unless Nevlin does something about it. Like that. And so Nevlin just shot in and got a nice little trip off that double. I'm not sure how much time he's not a lot of time. Well, 110 left to work. High, high mount. Well, he was he had the mount, and then Sachi was smart and popped his hip to get back <laughs> out, and he just stepped back over. Like over the entire half body, those rangy limbs, and now has he got the back? Is With, he looking? Oh. He's deep underneath that neck. Is he under the chin though? Not no, he's yet. he's on the chin. He's on the chin. But he's continuing to work, and 40 seconds left. And Sachi's being smart, and he's hand fighting. But if you look, Nevlin's trying to trap one of his arms using those long legs. And at this point, Nevlin's got to look to change it up from going a traditional to going a gable grip to get that actual lock in. 20 seconds left. He's just going to roll him over it. A nice high mount, but almost a stalemate position here. Yeah, Sachi's able to kind of go out the back door because Nevlin is so long, it makes it so difficult for him to hold. And now he's gotten kind of like a reversal. And then